always remember that guidance is from Allah. And He is the one who guides. Always remember that. Look, in Salah, we say, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. We say that in every rakat that we pray throughout the day. Many people don't even ponder over what they're saying. It's like sometimes when you go to a classroom and in schools they say they say your name and then you say what do they say present I'm here yeah. half the time the kids are asleep <laughs> they're asleep yeah. on there yeah. but they are so used to it yeah. automatically they know that there's a list sometimes they even memorize the list okay after this person is my time to say that's how sometimes salah becomes of people they're reciting it, but they're not pondering over what is Ihdina Sirat al mustaqim The path towards Allah, what is that? And are you genuinely asking to be guided by Allah? Or do you want to follow what you want to follow, but just carry on saying Ihdina Sirat al mustaqim Right? Because we say it. And we know that the teachings of the Quran are that Allah guides. And Allah also says, if you don't change as a person, if you don't have, in, have any intention to change, Allah won't change your condition as well. Allah will leave you to it. So if anyone wants guidance, you have to ask Allah for guidance. And it's not just merely on the tongue. It's asking Allah for guidance because you realize what you are. You realize that no matter how hard you work in life, you can't live here forever. So Allah is the one who <coughs> guides the, the believers. <coughs>